guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Adeze and I'm a YouTuber based in Port Harcourt, Nigeria. So you guys, in today's video, I am going to be trying out three different DIY masks that are so easy to make. They don't require any sewing and they are made with stuff you can find around your house or in the grocery store close to you. I decided to try out this DIY mask because I've been getting a lot of requests to do DIY masks because I'm into DIY and, and stuff like that. But I I actually stayed away from doing DIY masks because I really don't trust them um, and I don't want to give people a false sense of security where they go and make DIY masks that are not really protecting them and then they go out you know and expose themselves okay I'd rather you are afraid and because you don't have a, a mask I'd rather you be afraid and stay at home than to wear a mask that is not adequate enough to protect you and then you go out and expose yourself okay but I read something by the CDC and they said that um, DIY mask like just covering your nose with a thick cloth or a tightly woven cloth is actually adequate enough it's not a substitute for the proper um n95 or those you know surgical masks it's not a proper it's not a proper substitute for it but it's a better alternative than just going out um you know and leaving your face bare so yeah i saw the ones that were made by a channel called survival know-how and the reason why i chose his own masks to recreate is because they don't require any sewing like i said earlier and i don't want something that um will be too stressful to make okay i want something that is easy to make and you can find around your house okay all right so the first mask he made is the paper towel mask so i went ahead i have two different types of paper towels in this house i have the really strong one made by bounty and i have another one made by paper or something okay so i brought the two of them so i'm going to try them out um the reason why i chose the one by by bounty is because it's really thick um, this one is the big bounce paper towel. It's really really thick. So I just cut out two sheets of the paper towel. These are, these are actually two sheets. There's a demarcation in, in, um, in the middle. Now the problem with this one right off the bat is that it has these perforated lines because one sheet, that is one like this, let me just tear it up. One like this is not going to be enough to cover your face because you're going to do some folding. So it's not going to be enough to cover your face when you fold it, except you do it this way, except you don't fold it at all, okay? It's not enough, you, are, you will see what I mean when I start folding it. It's not enough to cover your face, so you are going to need, you know, two sheets. But the problem with doing two sheets is that after making the mask, you can see, you know, these holes. And if they cough on you or sneeze on you or whatever, if it's in the air, those holes are going to be a problem so let me not even bother showing you guys about it because it's not going to work except you have paper towel that is just a full sheet that is this big you know something as big as this or even if it's slightly smaller or slightly bigger but something of this size if you have paper towels that come in this size without you know that those perforated lines then maybe you can go ahead and try his in fact let me just try it so you guys will see what i mean okay Okay, so first of all, he folded the paper towel like so, so he folded it till the end and then he turned the end, like he put rubber band like an inch into the sides of the paper towel and then he folded it and um, yeah, so he folded it and then stapled it. This is my stapler, it's kind of small, so if you have a bigger stapler, it'll be easier. But uh, yeah, I just have to make do with what I have. So. He folded it uh, facing the same way, the both sides facing the same direction or facing each other actually and then he stapled it together Alright, so when he was done, he was left with something like this and then just open it in the middle and put it, you know, over your mouth and then put this one on your ear I actually don't like rubber bands, so this one on my ear is just like it's going to snap at any time So anyway, okay, so yeah I can already see that it's going to see it started tearing here already um maybe i can open it well enough but it's already tearing there and that line is still there so okay so let me use this facial spray as someone sneezing on me and see how it goes okay so i can feel it not much but i can feel like one drop or something <laughs> maybe it's in my head but i could feel some drops pass through that, those holes anyway yeah you guys get the point so those holes are a problem and it's actually very fragile it's just falling apart okay so i actually like this his next option because it looks very cute so yeah this is just a regular black tea i also have a white tea here 
just a regular black t-shirt so first of all you open up the t-shirt and then put it over i put my hair in a low um, ponytail so that i can do this well so you put it over your nose you know so you put it over your nose like so and yeah so one way actually if you're a guy one way is just to put it over your nose like this i hope you guys can hear me put it over your nose like this and tie it at the back yeah and you're good to go you're just a ninja here <laughs> okay yeah so what i like about this one is that it is very breathable it's easy to make you just tie it and it actually looks good another method he showed us is to put the back of the mask you know over your face now he, okay this is my own method actually just to put the back of the t-shirt over your face um i think this one looks very good this one reminds me of hijab not hijab that one that is it hijab yeah the one that covers the whole that uh, muslim sisters wear okay so his own style was once you put the t-shirt over your nostrils you tuck it you know near your ears then you bring the back not you don't tie it yet but me i tied my mind first so you can bring this one here and then put it over your ear just try and just put it together here and then you now tie okay so yeah this is another method this one is a little bit this one is actually better in the sense that it's really tight unlike the other one that was kind of fancy this one is <sighs> now the con for this one is that you're going to be hot there, there are no two ways about it especially if you're in nigeria you are going to be hot because this is actually a t-shirt covering your face covering your neck you know it's unlike a mask that just covers your nose and mouth this one is going to cover your neck your hair everything so you're going to be hot but if you're the kind of person that doesn't feel hot easily or if you know I don't want to say use a light t-shirt because at the end of the day what we are trying to do is to protect our faces and protect our nose and our mouth so i won't say go and get a light t-shirt but yeah this is better than nothing it's better to just you know try this if it's an emergency but just be ready to sweat so if you're a person that likes to do makeup you have to just forget about makeup for that you know outing all right guys so that's it about the t-shirt style so now the third one that he showed us is using a bandana and this is actually for me the most practical amongst all of them using a bandana or a handkerchief I, I chose handkerchief because you know why in nigeria handkerchief might be a little bit more accessible at this period i don't know about but i don't know how easy it is to get bandanas but yeah bananas are, are fairly easy to use bananas are better because bananas are larger in size so but if you don't find a bandana you most likely have a handkerchief in your house so just go with it but if it's an old handkerchief that you wash and wash please don't go with it because i feel like it's already loose so try and get new ones i got these ones from the supermarket yesterday and they are not like the regular handkerchiefs like the fabric is really really tightly woven it doesn't even feel like 100 percent cotton it feels a little bit like polyester i don't know if it, i don't know i wish i could show you guys really closely how these handkerchiefs are but yeah they're really really good so some people just you know tie it over their faces like this i don't even know how they do it because it's not large enough but the one he showed us is using a bandana so i have my bandana here how you did it was you fold your bandana into three okay then put the rubber band like one quarter of the way on both sides and then you fold it in fold it in like you folded the first um, paper towel facing each other and then you just carry it the way it is and put it over your face so like so and then just put it behind your ears so yeah that's it very easy very comfortable i actually like the way um this one is um is actually you can still breathe with it you can make it tighter if you want i don't i didn't just i didn't just make this one really tight but you can make it tighter if you want or you can loosen it up a bit if you want so this one is actually for me the easiest and the best um because I'm not going to sweat. The other one is very nice. It looks good and all that. But this one also looks good. And I'm not going to sweat. Okay? Yeah. So yeah, there you have it. Those are the three easy... Uh, and let me just say two. Because to me, the first one is very useless. Okay? The first one is very useless. But the second and third are really, really good. I'll urge you guys to try it out. 
the other day I went to buy a um, face mask and they told me 500 naira for one as in 500 naira for one just one piece like this one piece so if I wear that face mask let's say in the morning to go out and you know do something and then I come back and then later that day I want to go out again you know it's disposable I want to go out again so I'll carry on that 500 naira and put on my face just to go out yeah, it doesn't make sense so this one makes sense a lot and it's you know re reusable once you get home just quickly wash it make sure you wash it very well wash your hands and don't forget to always protect yourself okay if you don't have to go outside please do not go outside and that's why i said initially that i was i was skeptical about telling people to do diy masks and all that because at the end of the day your safety comes first it's not about um it's not about money it's not about whatever you think you want to go and do outside your safety comes first okay so i urge you guys to you know do not go out if you don't have to get surgical masks get the like the one i think the n95 is the one that says that they say it has a filter is it n95 or n the n95 is the one that says it has a filter or you can get the regular um surgical mask okay so get masks if you can but if you cannot then these are very good alternatives that you can use in the meantime okay so yeah Thank you guys so much for watching if you guys like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel please and also make sure you share this video and you know leave a comment down below and tell me uh which one you're going to be trying out or if you're going to be trying all of them okay thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you all in my next video bye guys Mwah.